Hey cariño, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time and girl, the stars, they finally aligned. So here we are. So for those of you who know me, y'all knew this was coming. But thanks for clicking anyways. And for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Nemesis. Thank you so much for clicking on my face. So to not make this intro super, super long, let's get right into it because time is money or something. By the title of this video, you already know we're gonna talk about acne. Yay! So to start this off, I wanna say two things. First of all, acne is super, super normal. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It's nothing to be covering up like, like it's super taboo or anything. It's super, super normal. The majority of the population gets it. And the second thing that I wanna say is that I am not a professional. <laughs> Take my advice with a grain of salt. These tips and tricks that I'm about to give y'all are things that have worked for me over time. I have combination sensitive acne prone skin so if those are things that resonate with your skin type then keep on watching maybe take my advice maybe give it a try i mean but take it slow obviously don't start putting stuff in your face like crazy because we don't want your face to fall off so let's get into it i want to give y'all four things that i do to treat acne and four things that i do to prevent it i'm gonna start with the treating part of it because Let's be honest, that is probably why you clicked this video in the first place. So let's get into the interesting part. First of all, I am not wearing any makeup right now and I did that on purpose so that you guys would see what my skin looks like at the moment. I have some <laughs> problematic spots here and there and whatnot. I'm on that time of the month and this is when like the little spots start coming up here and there more often than the rest of the month and i wanted to show you guys what they look like while they're healing so this is what they look like after following these four steps for at least like two to three days consecutively so let's get started first one is benzoyl peroxide the one that I use is this one from Neutrogena, the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel. This spot gel is 10% benzoyl peroxide, so it's their maximum strength one, and it works wonders for me. It works super fast, like I put it on, and overnight you can kind of start seeing like the pimples dying little by little and benzoyl peroxide let me tell you why it's so great girl <clears throat> i have my notes so benzoyl peroxide reduces the amount of acne causing bacteria and it gets rid of dead skin cells that clog your pores and that sounds lovely to me i don't know about you but it does the trick for me step number two this one is not as popular as benzoyl peroxide personally i haven't heard that many people talk about it but it has worked great for me and that is hydrocortisone okay before you say what the freak girl why are you putting that on your face you only put that on your burns or on your bug bites or whatever <clears throat> excuse me hydrocortisone reduces swelling itching and redness and those are the main three things that i feel when i get acne it gets swollen it gets itchy and it gets red and hydrocortisone helps to soothe that down girl so i mean get on this train <laughs> it's fantastic now third step that i like to do to treat my acne this is also not that popular but girl has it changed the game for me i'm talking about hydrocolloid hydrocolloid how Somebody tell me how to pronounce this thing. I think it's pronounced hydrocolloid patches. So I don't use the fancy ones that are like from Zitstika or like the ones that are shaped like stars. Cause they be expensive girl and I be using a lot of these. These are not specifically made to be put on your face. These ones are meant to be put in your blisters. Like if you get blisters on your feet or your heels or whatever, you put this and it absorbs like the water that gets in there okay that's nasty but whatever that's the main reason why i use this on acne because <clears throat> let me tell you girl hydrocolloid patches 
absorb pus and oil from the inflamed spot and promotes faster healing by maintaining moisture. And my personal favorite, it keeps outside bacteria from reaching breakouts. This is what I do. I buy the bigger ones and then I cut them into little strips and then I like cut them into squares or little circles and I use them on my spots right after applying my benzoyl peroxide and my cortisone. And after doing my whole skincare routine, I put the patches on overnight and if there is stuff inside of the pimple, it kind of absorbs it overnight so that I don't have to squeeze and create like a worse type of scar. All right, and now my final little thing that I like to do to treat my acne are face masks. So the ones that I like to use specifically while I'm treating acne are soothing and hydrating face masks. I use these two from Kiehl's, their calendula and aloe one, and the Bliss Mint Chip Mania. They're both very soothing. Obviously the Kiehl's is a lot more hydrating than the Bliss one, but they're both very soothing. And since your skin is going through a lot, it's going through, you know, chemicals, it's going through peeling, it's going through healing, soothing the skin and hydrating it is so so important and it just makes the process a lot smoother less painful and it can help with your scarring as well now when it comes to preventing acne i'm gonna go through these a little bit faster because they have to do more with what's incorporated in your skincare routine so one of the most important things to do to prevent acne is double cleansing girls Double cleansing consists of an oil or a balm type of cleanser that can remove dirt, oil, makeup, etc., etc., and then a gel cleanser or a foaming cleanser if you like those that can then target your skin concerns. Now, the second thing that I like to do to prevent acne is exfoliating weekly. This is so crucial <laughs> in my skincare routine, and I highly recommend that you get on board if you haven't already. And I'm talking about specifically chemical exfoliation. These are some of the ones that I like to use. The Ordinary Peeling Solution, the Pixie Glow Tonic, and the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. Now, I obviously don't use these every single day. The Peeling Solution, I only use once a week, and you should too. You shouldn't do a peeling solution more than once a week. And then during the week, I like alternating between these two depending on how my skin is doing. If I see that there's some unwanted texture but there's not that much redness or anything, I might go with a with this one, which is just a 5% glycolic acid serum. I mean toner. Um, but if I notice that there's redness and a little bit of irritation and texture, I like going with something a little bit stronger. Um, which is this Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. If you want a little bit more of a scientific explanation on why chemical exfoliation is so damn great for your breakouts or to prevent breakouts, <clears throat> let me tell you. Chemical exfoliation helps clear out breakouts by stimulating new collagen and skin cell growth. So what your skin would do naturally, these types of chemical exfoliators are just gonna stimulate it and help it be, you know, more efficient. Now, the third thing that I like to do to prevent breakouts, it's kind of like a repetition, is also face masks. But now the face masks that I like to use when it comes to preventing breakouts are cleansing and clarifying face masks. Now, these two right here, the Shea Moisture Clarifying Mud Mask has salicylic acid and tea tree oil, and the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask it's just so great to clean out your pores and avoid any buildup and congestion of your pores. And now the fourth thing that I like to do to prevent breakouts is fairly new to me, but I mean, the internet has been telling me that it's a good idea, so I'm giving it a try. I'm talking about a silk pillowcase. This is the one that I use. I got this one from Amazon. I don't know if this is like the best quality silk pillowcase or whatever, but it does feel really nice on my face. Let me scientifically explain why silk pillowcases can help you prevent breakouts and or irritations on your face. <coughs> silk helps skin retain moisture and it's naturally hypoallergenic, 
which means it has stronger resistance to dust mites, fungus, mold, and other allergens that can irritate your face. So, you know what I mean? Science says so, so I'm giving it a try. I'm not gonna say that this has been like saving my life or anything because I haven't used it for that long, but it's worth giving, I don't know, giving it a chance. And well, those are my four tips and tricks on how to treat and prevent. And I wanna give y'all a bonus because if you've had acne and you've been dealing with acne for quite some time, you know what the aftermath of acne is. And that is acne scars and hyperpigmentation. My least favorite. <laughs> like I think I hate hyperpigmentation and acne scars more than I hate active breakouts. Cause they're just so freaking hard to get rid of. So I'm gonna give y'all my top three products that I like to use when it comes to dealing with hyperpigmentation and acne scar. The first one is this Paula's Choice Clinical Triple Action Dark Spot Eraser 7% AHA Lotion. Um, this one is a spot treatment that has glycolic acid and hydroquin hy Jesus. hydroquinone, hydroquinone, somebody help one of those <laughs> but this hydroquinone i'm just gonna say it like that because i don't know how to say it this is what helps with the hyperpigmentation specifically and it has just helped me fade dark spots a little bit faster than they would usually go with just chemical exfoliation so the second thing that i like to use to treat and further prevent more hyperpigmentation is using spf daily girl I mean, it's pretty logical. If you have dark spots and then you expose them to the sun, they're only going to get darker. And even more if you've been using chemical exfoliation, which makes your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. And even if you don't have acne and you don't have spots, please, for the love of God, wear SPF every single day, girl. What, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Especially if you have melanin on your skin and you've been dealing with hyperpigmentation, we brown and black girls scar even more than lighter skinned people. So we need a good dosage of SPF every single day, girl. Do not get it twisted. And now my final thing that I like to use to treat hyperpigmentation is rosehip seed oil. This one is from The Ordinary. There are like 10,000 brands that have rosehip seed oil. So just find the one that you like. I like this one because I don't know, the consistency is so great. It's not as thick as um, another one that I had from another brand. Um, it's a little bit more liquidy. And let me tell you why science, not just me, why science says that rosehip seed oil can help with the texture and hyperpigmentation of your face. <clears throat> rosehip seed oil reduces inflammation, reduces hyperpigmentation, protects against sun damage, hydrates and moisturizes, and boosts collagen formation. I mean, do you need more reasons? So <laughs> that's it. Those are the four things that I do to treat acne, four things that I do to prevent acne, and three products that I use to deal with acne scars and hyperpigmentation. So I hope you guys like this. I hope that you maybe try one or two or all of these little tips and tricks and that they actually work for you. Thank you so, so much for making it to the end of this video. If you did, you're amazing. I appreciate that so much. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I know I'm new, but like more things are to come. And if you want to see more stuff from me, please follow me on Instagram. And that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.